I'm just explaining the neon. Hey guys, it's Sleepy Reader and Quacking Duck, my special guest star. And this is just my comic book day haul. I got, well, for me, a, a, a pretty big pile, 10 comic books, particularly when you add in, um, where did it go? Detective Comics, the triple size 900 issue. Um, so yeah, I got that. I haven't opened these up. I'm actually really excited about the gatefold covers, but I guess I'll, I'll look at those when I do a review. Uh, Green Arrow, really looking forward to seeing where that goes now that with the Jeff Lemire and Sorrentino team. It's you. Um, you want to tell them something? Um, if you want to know more about Quacking Duck, I'll make a special book about it and sew it on. It's Here's a comic great, book about Quacking Duck. Great Pacific. And, and the Swamp Thing. I decided to give the new team there a, a shot. Um, uh, um, and Storm Watch, which might be exciting with Jim Starlin and this, rebooting it. And this. What do you want to show them? And, and. Or do you want to show them this? And, and, no, I don't. No. And great, and this is great Pacific. Right, here, let's turn this it. This is great, turn it great to, Pacific. Turn it so it shows on the screen there. It's great Pacific. Um, it's Great Pacific that I like to look at. She likes the pictures in Great Pacific. They're very good pictures. We can look at that when we're done filming. Earth 2, Earth which should two. be exciting as they bring Earth on their three. version of Dr. Fate. Look, look. Dial H. B likes the idea of Dial H for Hero, don't you? Why Dial H? Do you remember Dial H for Why Hero? Why is it just Dial H? We had a, uh, a one-shot Dial H for Hero, Mark Wade. Thing from like 2000 why, that we why did that she just liked. called Dial H? And um, I decided to try the Phantom Stranger again because I, I love the art team. That's why is it just called? Same art team why is it just called Dial H? And Ferris. This is supposed to be a one shot issue. Why something is about called, trees. Why is it sure. called Ferris? Uh, that's ref referring to um, girls in fairy tales are often called fair. And who's the fairest of them all? Do you remember what fairy tale that comes from? Also in the mail today, I got one of my Marvel subscriptions. Let's cut it open and see what it is. Daddy, Daddy. Yeah? Daddy, I need shoes. The bathroom and... and okay, well, why don't you go ahead without me, okay? Because I'm going. still filming. Quacking Duck has gone to use the facilities. Um, so it looks like my uh, mail Marvel subscription got me... New Avengers number four. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this, so maybe this will be the issue that turns it around for me. Always gotta love Galactus. That's that's quite a cool cover, I have to say. I also just got a package in, so I guess this is becoming an unboxing video. So I'm unprepared. Normally I would open the box ahead of time. A package from In Stock Trades. And I can't completely remember what I got. I think one of the things I got is a um, collection of Gil Kane Superman issues. So that should be cool. Are you all set, by the way? You can help me open this box when I'm done cutting open the tape. Let's see. Quacking Duck is... Were you going to make a comic book about Ducka tonight? I will make it. Um, um, a comic that is Ducka, about Ducka. A new superhero I made up. Do you, I'll do, show you Ducka have superpowers? And I won't tell you what his superpowers are, but you still know that I'm going to make a Ducka comic. What? You want to hold this up for them? One of, one of the things we got in the mail from In Stock Trades is called Gods and Science, The Return of the Thai Girls by Jamie Hernandez. That might be fun for both of us to look at. I it's a look nice it. oversized hardback. I want to look at it. Okay, well, here, you, you look at it right there, and we'll unwrap it in just a minute. Why is it unwrap it? Well, because it's kind of tightly it wrapped in plastic. God, why is it called God and, then, and Science? Why is it called God and Science? It's called God and Science. So this is just one God, maybe the Christian God. Um, we've talked a lot about mythological gods. So we've got The Adventures of Superman by Gil Kane. I'm really excited about that. 
That should also be fun for us to look through. I just saw a starfire in there somewhere. I want to make a starfire comic. You want to make a starfire comic? Okay. And we've also got Wrapped in Plastic, hardcover of all new X-Men. Uh, that'll be cool. I, I only have them digitally, and I really want to read them in hard copy. And, whoop, most exciting of all, except it's not hardcover. I wish these were hardcover. The Sixth Gun, Volume 2. I absolutely why, why, love why, why Volume it, 1, why, why, which was why, sent to me by Travis, why, which was really great. Why is it the Sixth Gun? There, well, there's six magic guns in this story, and the Sixth Gun is owned by this girl here. And everybody wants to get that gun from her because it's the most magic gun of all. So it's kind of a cowboy wild west story with magic. So instead of magic swords or magic wands, it's magic guns. It's pretty grown up, but we can look through it. Okay, guys, I uh, hope all of you had a great comic book Wednesday, and Whacking Duck and I will talk to you again soon. You want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye.